Hello, welcome to the Villages Florida. My name is David. I'm a realtor with Florida Realty Investments, and every week we take a look at what's happening to the real estate market here in the Villages. Whether you've been following the Villages market for some time or you're unfamiliar with it, if you devote 15 minutes to the show, I think you'll have a very good understanding both of what current conditions are here and how we got here. We're going to take a look at the four different areas of the villages as I've defined them. We'll get an idea as to the difference in the size of homes, prices of homes, price per square foot in the different areas. I'll give you uh, an overview as to a tool that we can use to spot value as a buyer or to maximize your asking price as a seller. We're going to cover a lot of things, but a couple of things to note. First, we produce this show every Monday. Make sure you're checking the date to ensure you're getting the most recent information. Secondly, this information is designed for both buyers and sellers. If you're a buyer, you obviously want to feel that you're getting as good a deal as possible. And if you're a seller, you want to feel that you are getting as good a deal as possible. Our research and our data will help justify the decisions that you make and will help guide you as to the uh, lowest or highest price that might be accepted. If you find this information valuable, please consider liking the video or subscribing to the channel. It really helps us with the YouTube algorithm. If you need to reach me, you can reach me either at davidisinflorida at gmail.com or through our website, davidisinflorida.com. I try to make this weekly overview useful for both buyers and sellers. Obviously, buyers and sellers have differing interests, but both parties always want to know what fair value is. One more thing, all of this information is drawn from the MLS, the Multiple Listing Service. It does not include any listings from the Village's own internal listing service, the VLS. The Village's is unique in the sense that they have two marketplaces, the VLS, which is the only marketplace where you'll find new homes, and the MLS where you'll find pre-owned homes. Pre-owned homes you will also find on the VLS. But the point is that if you have a VLS agent, you will not be seeing MLS uh, homes for sale. And if you have a traditional MLS agent, you will not be seeing VLS homes for sale. Hence, without both, you won't be able to see everything for sale. So with that out of the way, let's take a look at what's happening in the Villages real estate market this week. We start every week by taking a look at the yield on the U.S. 10-year note. This is the yield that the mortgage rate most closely tracks, the 30-year mortgage, that is. And you can see that this week we're still hovering right below 4% on the 10-year. We have been as high as 5% about a year ago. Everybody's expecting that the Fed will be lowering rates going into the election. But it seems hard to justify with asset prices and inflation at high levels. So now let's focus on the villages and I'm going to begin by orienting those of you who aren't familiar with where it is. Uh, the villages is in central Florida, just north, about an hour north of Orlando. The map that I'm showing you is showing you all current active listings on the MLS. The size of the circle denotes the size of the home. The larger the circle, the larger the home. The color of the circle represents its price per square foot. The darker the circle, the less per square foot. The lighter the circle, the more per square foot. And we're going to zoom in on the Lake Sumter area. And I'm going to switch back and forth between uh, listings on a per square foot basis and listings on a price basis. And you can see very quickly that being able to see this data on a price per square foot basis as a buyer really helps you focus on deals. So now let's look at uh, the historical trend for the number of listings here in the villages. This week there are 467 active listings. Last week there were 465. A year ago there were only 285. Currently prices in the villages range from 142,000, which is the same price originally listed at, to the most expensive home, which is just under 2 million nine, which was originally 2,950. This graph goes back over two years, so I prepared this graph, which focuses only on the last year. We can get some idea as to recent trends as well. And looking at this graph, it seems quite clear that the number of listings is marching inexorably higher. 
Yeah, we're looking at the median time on the market for all listings. This week, it's 61 days. Last week, it was only 60 days. And a year ago, it was only 48 days. As I look at this graph, it certainly is discouraging for sellers to see the time on the market remaining over 60 days. Now we look at the median list price per foot for all active listings on the MLS. This week, 259.32. Last week, 258.70. A year ago, 260.30. It seems evident looking at this graph that prices have done nothing for over a year here. So now let me give you an overview as to the different areas of the villages as I've broken them down. The first is the area that I'm calling the north, which is historically the older area of the villages. This is everything south of 42 and north of 466. The next area I'm calling the mid-north, which is everything south of 466 and also north of 466A. The mid-south is everything south of 466A and north of 44. And the south is everything south of 44. I'm sure you notice as you look at these maps that in the pre-owned market, there's far more activity in the north than the south. So now that you have a sense of how I've divided the villages geographically, let's take a look at the data from a different perspective. Here we're looking at all MLS listings, currently 467. The properties range in size from 828 square feet to 4,216 square feet. Price per foot ranges from 110 to 776. And homes in the villages range in price from 142,000 to just under 2.9 million. Now we'll divide the areas geographically. First is the north, 204 active listings. Sizes range from 875 square feet to just under 3,000 square feet. Per foot ranging from 110 to 448. And prices in the north ranging from 142,000 to just over a million dollars. This is the Mid-North, 142 active listings. Sizes range from 1,090 to 4,216 square feet. Per foot pricing ranging from 203 to 442. And prices in the Mid-North ranging from 250,000 to a million two. This is the Mid-South, 53 active listings. Sizes range from 1,156 to 3,875 square feet per foot ranging from 213 to 776 and prices from 280,000 to just under 2,900,000. And this is the South, 68 active listings. Once again, these are all properties south of 44. Smallest a home on the MLS in the South, 828 square feet. Largest, 2,183 square feet. Per foot pricing ranging from 230 to 428 and prices in the south ranging from 255,000 to 830,000. I've had some comments on the next three charts. If you find them useful, please let me know in the comments. If you find them not to be useful, let me know and I will discard them. But here we're looking at the villages as a whole and comparing the four regions. Here we're looking at the sizes of the homes. You can see how many homes are available at each size in each of the regions of the villages. The villages in its entirety on the right North, Middle, North, Middle, South, and South on the left. And we're going to look at the differences in sizes first. Next, we'll take a look at the price per square foot, get some idea as to what the prices are in the various regions. Villages in its entirety on the right, the four separate uh, geographic regions on the left. You can see that there are differences in the distribution of prices in the different regions here. This is something new that I thought was interesting. Here we're looking at what year homes were built in. So we're looking at the villages in its entirety on the right and the north, middle, north, middle, south, and south on the left. It's certainly interesting to note that in the north, uh, very little construction after 2005 or so. And the differences in prices between the different regions, you can see how many properties are available at each price point for the villages as a whole on the right, the individual regions of the villages on the left. Once again, if these last four graphs are of value or not, please let me know. Here we look at new listings and homes going pending. We think this is the uh, best short-term indicator of uh, pressure on the market or lack thereof. 
Uh, new listings obviously are adding to inventory and homes going pending are removing inventory. If new listings exceed pending home sales, inventory will grow and there'll be pressure on sellers. If, on the other hand, there are more homes going pending than being listed, then obviously the pressure will be on buyers and you would expect prices to be firm. This week, 46 new listings. Last week, there were only 34. This week, 35 pending home sales. A big improvement from last week's 20. It's interesting to note that a year ago, there were five more homes going pending than being listed. This week, 11 more homes being listed than going pending. And that brings us to this chart, which basically just shows the difference between new listings and homes going pending. If the prints are above the line, that means more homes are going pending than are being listed, positive for the market. If the prints are below the line, that means there are more homes being listed than going pending, which would be negative for the market. Another way to keep our finger on the pulse of what's happening here is to look at the homes that went pending last week and see what the price change was from the original list price. Uh, we're continuing to improve uh, last week a 4.52% reduction, the previous week 4.92, and a year ago 48 Even though the graph is a four-week moving average, it certainly looks like for the last three months or so, sellers have not been feeling much pressure here. Even though the previous graph made it seem as if there wasn't much pressure, this one makes it clear that there was. This is the price at which the homes that went pending last week went pending, 240.66, the median price. This is a big reduction from the 266.06 of the previous week and a big reduction from the 257.01 that was in effect uh, for the same week a year ago. This is the second lowest reading that we've seen. The lowest reading was almost exactly a year ago. So now let's take a look at the homes that closed last week. They numbered 33, previous week 34, a year ago 32. The homes that closed ranged in price from 158,000, that was originally almost 175,000, to the most expensive home closing was a million dollars. This home was originally marketed at a million three. This is a reduction of 23%. Just to give you some idea as to the willingness of buyers and sellers to negotiate here, this million dollar home that was originally one three was only on the market for 33 days. Here's a perspective on seasonality. We're looking at how many sales per week. The red line is 2024, the green line 2023, and the blue line 2022. You can see that we are following historical seasonal patterns here. We would expect activity to continue to slow through the end of the year. We've had people ask for this chart. We're keeping track of how many weeks of inventory the inventory represents. I'm just dividing inventory by sales. This week, 14.2 weeks of inventory. Last week, 13.7. A year ago, under nine. But two years ago, it was under five. Here we look at the median price per square foot realized for the homes that closed on a weekly basis. Last week, 236 a foot. The week before, 230 a foot. A year ago, 239 a foot. The trend line still seems to be indicating lower prices ahead. So now we'll look at all listings once again. And this is the percentage of listings that have reduced their asking price from the original list price. Small improvement. This week, 52.68% of listings have reduced their asking price. Last week, 5388 a year ago, it was over 55%. And here we look at what the actual percentage of decrease is. This week, a median 4.28% decrease for all listings on the MLS. Last week, it was 4.29. A year ago, it was a 4.53% decrease. If you're a buyer and you're trying to find a good deal here in the villages, or you're a seller and you're trying to sell for as much as possible, please consider reaching out to davidisinflorida at gmail.com or davidisinflorida.com. I'll be happy to help you research geographical areas, price ranges, or any other criteria you have. Please don't hesitate to reach out to me if you have any questions about life in Central Florida or life in the villages itself. I hope to hear from you. Take care.